Emotional neglect is one of those hidden problems. Usually it presents with some other cover up, especially when couples are in relationship counseling with me. In other words, there's another specified symptom or problem they're having. Maybe it's miscommunication or maybe it's that they feel like each other is not there to have their back. Like if something's going on, they feel like their partner kind of throws them to the wolves. Oftentimes, emotional neglect is when one or both partners was raised with emotional neglect. Now, let me make this very clear. Most parents don't, don't raise their kids thinking, I'm gonna neglect you, but it happens. It happens so commonly that in society, basically other people make excuses for it. Like you grow up and, and you feel like you never really were, really were attended to, or you were ignored in your childhood. Oftentimes what the parents would say is, well, you were always more sensitive, or you always seemed to need more advice, or you always wanted to check in with us. It wasn't you that was the problem. It's just that in generations past, and as you grow up in these kind of feelings, when someone doesn't give you what they need, there's usually a reason, and it usually means they're blaming you. So you were raised in an emotionally neglectful family, and then you grow up because your expectations of what others can give you is low, you attract someone, and you kind of make yourself so adept or by then you've just numbed yourself. So basically what happens is you begin missing bids or calls for attention when your partner needs help. And because they may not have been raised that way, they don't understand why you're emotionally neglecting them. So they usually are the point, the point guard or whatever when they come in for a relationship counseling they're the one that says I'm lonely or I don't get what I need or I don't, I don't think my partner cares about me. And when you take this apart, you find out it wasn't that their partner didn't care about them, it's that their partner was basically emotionally neglected in their family. So they never learned that this is why people want a happy, healthy marriage is to have somebody on their side, a support system. So let's go through 10 signs of emotional neglect so you can kind of figure out if this is what you're struggling with, maybe this is part of your relationship or not because it sure helps a therapist when you go to therapy, if you can give them a heads up and say, I think this might be part of our problem. Okay, so the first one of these, you and your partner misread each other's true feelings and actions and thoughts quite frequently. Secondly, as a couple, you avoid bringing up difficult things so as not to upset each other. You haven't figured out how, how to argue productively. Your conversations are mostly focused on facts, events, or logistics. You're not really emotionally connected. Your spouse is not the first person you want to tell something uh, when you see something great or weird that happens. If you seek comfort from your spouse, they often say the wrong thing or it doesn't feel right. You don't feel like you're a team working on life and love together. You often feel ignored when you're with your partner. It can be difficult to find someone to talk about issues you feel with. Positive emotions like love, warmth, or emotional bonding feel awkward, or they only happen during sex. If you're feeling this way, then the most important thing that you can do right now is to, first of all, look at your emotional connection and think of it that it's not a thing that you either have or you don't have or your parents screwed up. It's something the two of you can build. If you can talk about it, if you can get it out in the open. And sometimes if you just know parts of your relationship that are broken and you will seek help with a counselor, then they can help get underneath this and go, oh my gosh, you were emotionally neglected as a child. No wonder you come across as needy or clingy or whatever it is. Now, for your partner, what's important is that you realize this is a give, take, give, take. 
So you're going to focus on giving them emotional support. They're going to focus on taking the emotional support. And then they're going to focus on looking for bids or requests from you that they can give you emotional support. So it's a cycle of give, take, give, take. And lastly, start thinking more about what do you feel? Are you hurt? When you're hurt, that's a sign I should talk to my partner. When I'm lonely, that's a sign I should talk to my partner. When I'm joyful, that's a sign I should talk to my partner. The more you're able to feel the feeling and then go directly to your partner, the more likely you're going to be able to practice and work through emotional neglect and have your needs and deepest desires and connection met.